It is. It's not a. Is it a pet? <gasps> is it a baby dragon? Come in many forms. Oh. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of, you oh. can start to deal with the fear. Oh, he looks like what's his name from Harry Potter? The horn was it the horn tail? Or, no, or even Drogon in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Just with more horns. <sighs> oh, she still has nightmares. Just in my head. Oh, poor kid. She's so brave yet, yet so scared of little. It's not gonna work. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, never mind. That's something to be scared of. I mean, like I'm not scared of like rats or mice or anything, but those things are creepy. Be back. Let's pick up our story once again. Nice. Yeah, those things were weird. Look. afraid. I was still struggling with the loss of a chakra. Oh. Now, my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. Oh. Oh, they're still picking on that guy. <laughs> He's on my hat. Okay, I can't go forward. Yeah, this really looks like Alice in Wonderland. That's. Oh, they were flowers? I thought they were snail uh, things. They were just curled up flowers. There's a light G. Hmm. I wonder what I can, yeah. Wonder what I can put in front of there. Hmm. Oh, wait. I got it. I didn't know I moved back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's just there. Chester. Dragon baby. Oh, you so cute. Aww. <laughs> He's like, one second. Oh, that was. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I did not expect that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I don't get to keep my baby dragon. Oh, I want to keep him. Oh, I only had you for such a short time. I did. No. His crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Oh, I'm getting braver every single episode. <laughs> I think I'm getting a beard. I think that's what that's supposed to be. The, those little dark spots that are on my chin. Number one. That's. <laughs> it was getting by me. Oh, did he plan all this? Once, in a town just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. Okay. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. Okay. The townspeople cried out to their king, We must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese. One even ate. A baby. The town had become very unpleasant indeed. All right. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats remained. The king. Oh, is that book? In his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes for he desperately needed. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. Okay. Is that supposed to be Manny? The piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege. All right. Here, here, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rack. Rid us of these pests, and the throne is where you'll rest. 
Okay. Well, I know the story of the Pied Piper. Pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody. The music summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. The king shrieked a high-pitched squeal, but the piper continued his song. The rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belonged. I feel like he's changing around the story the a bit for his own needs. The castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. And the color's green, and that was Manny's color. He raised his pipe. And a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. Okay. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. Wait. The throne is now empty. And the well doesn't clang anymore. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits. But the mind games were just beginning. I knew he was going to come back. I, d I had a feeling he would. And he knew they were into fairy tales, so he made his own to get them to capture everybody, including me, to bring him down here, so then he would take over the kingdom. You clever little man. Very clever little man. What's this? 1001 Goblin Pranks to Fool Your Friends. The baby swap. Hmm? What? What was the baby swap? Is a goblin baby with a human bi- Wait. Is Manny a goblin? That was- That was a pr- Oh, that was confusing. Huh. Oh, I can't go up the ladder. Okay. There's nothing else here. Yeah, okay. Or is he a swap Nightmares baby? Ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. Very good lesson. Yes. Oh, was that it? Goblins ruin everything. He's not dead, he's still breathing. Okay, so I worried over nothing. <laughs> but it was still, like, I guess, achievement based. Um. Hmm. Ah! I didn't know they were down here, too. Oh, they're the piggies. <laughs> uh, three little pigs, let's see it on the board. Distress! Help us, King! Oh, the straw and Enough. sticks and bricks. only stories. Can't you just enjoy them for what they are? You've missed the point entirely. Is this how you want your story to be remembered? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, um, how about a new story? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> once upon a time. There lived, uh, um, uh, 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 let me see what I got here. Oh, and I pick some, oh, cool! Uh, you know what? Hmm. There lived a, it's a noun, so a person plays her thing. So, I'll pick Chester. That might work. There lived a wise little goblin who loved adventures. <laughs> Isn't <that a> goblin? <laughs> hmm. Uh, even he's like, I see what you're doing. Oh my god, Chester! <laughs> oh my god! I hope I'm like that when I'm old. Wise and strong. Even in his young age, stories of the goblins' quests had spread around the land. 
Like the time he... Uh, don't give me the server lord. Bear hug the basket. It's not smart. The quizzical griffin. Uh, you know what? They might want a battle of wits. That might be one. Quizzical griffin. Ah, I see, because he outsmarted. Yeah, okay, fact, I get it. His adventures were so legendary, <laughs> the goblins decided to make him king. <laughs> They're pig -nosing. But the goblin adventurer was out of his element and overwhelmed with the work it took to run a successful kingdom. His friends offered their... Um... Um... Wisdom. Maybe that was wrong. So there are wrong choices. Okay. Um, I would have went with wisdom. Let me try that again. Uh, oh, heart. Okay. I understand. Heart. Because of the way it looked, yeah. Like, do you trust me? Yeah. But it wasn't enough. He was afraid he would never live up to the king who came before. It got this is so bad with her, I guess. that the goblin gave up. But when packing up his things to run away from the castle, the goblin found. Uh, he. He found. A rap button in my face. He found. That. My old hat. That might be. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know what? No. What's this? No. Yeah, his the hat. Old adventurer cap. I was going to say, he found his bravery, but I don't know if that would have made sense. Or he found his courage, that would have, hmm, maybe that would have worked, I don't know. Bravery and courage are kind of the same thing. But I guess that was the right choice. <laughs> and the goblin realized that he wasn't just here to continue the previous legacy. He was here to create his own. Oh, very good. One filled with... One filled with bravery, that's it. Yeah, because nothing else fits, and I don't have any more arrows, so. Bravery. And the best group of friends you could ever ask for. Aww. Hmm. What? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> and she kicked it! <laughs> nice! Gotta hear about this. Yeah, girl! Yeah, girl! <laughs> I told you he'd save us. No, I told you he'd save us. <laughs> I think it was me, actually. You know, I'm not even sure anymore. So there's only one person I had to save in here. So in a way, I guess I did good. There was porridge in there. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fancy Cakes, a river barachi. And everybody's and alive, that's my yes. Story. Some of the details might have changed over the years. And I certainly left out some parts I wasn't fond of. <laughs> what? I found <laughs> That's it's supposed best to, be to enjoy stories for what they are, and not for what you hoped they would be. Ah, you've fallen asleep again, and I think it's time I do the same. Ah. <laughs> Is that it? Oh. Yeah, was he like a goblin swap? Or something? Mm. Oh, I'm trying to understand what the baby swap would be. <gasps> what? Is that why he was taller? Because he wasn't a true goblin? Who are you? Manny! You look like you could use a friend. I knew that was his foot. All right, so we're not done with Manny yet. Oh, all right. I guess that's it. That was everybody in Chapter 2. Oh, yeah, he was the only one that wasn't truly behind bars. Yeah, he was just in a shop. All right. Oh, oh my God. What a what a complete mindfuck this, this chapter was. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hope I did everything right. Like, I don't... Oh, I don't know, like, maybe I should look up some other Let's Plays of this game, just from this chapter, and see how other people uh, played the game, like who, or even anybody that's watching this right now, um, who did you choose to save in the end? Did you save the, what are they, the Hobblepots, the old couple, 
or did you choose to save Amaya because she was the strongest one, or did you choose to save uh, Bramble and what, what's his name, Wetzel? Wetzel, I don't know. It'd be like a pretzel, is that what's supposed to be like Wetzel? Oh well, whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, who did you choose to save in the end? What were, what were your tactics? Because I was definitely confused more than half of the time. <laughs> and I did have to uh, look over at my walkthrough. I did have it open the entire time, but I was trying so hard to not look at it until it was, I guess, pretty much the very end of all of, like, all the days that I had. It's where I was like, okay, now I'm confused. I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> With it. I only wanted to look up the certain things that, like, I had had in my inventory because I had no idea. Hobble pot, that was it. I see it in the credits. Okay. Um, like, I didn't know, like, what certain things were for. Like, I thought the broom was for Amaya because she needed a handle, but I guess I could only give that to her if she wasn't already, like, collapsed in bed starving or just, like, completely out of it. Um, I guess everything really did have to do with timing in this, and... I guess in some things I ran out of time. Like, I wanted to, like, is is there a way I could have gotten everybody out? Or was it really only down to, like, I could only save one person or one group? Like, that's, that's the confusing part for me. Like, I want to know, like, if I did certain things differently, could I have, like, freed each person? person at different times or y you know what I mean like is there a way like I could have freed everybody but maybe there wasn't and it just had to go the way that it did but uh anyway yeah um thank you so very much for watching uh please like comment and subscribe let me know what kind of games you want to see me play next and I guess I will see you for chapter three of King's Quest. Enjoy the rest of the quadits, uh, quadits, gratis, smiles and goals. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night.